In today's video, I'm showing you guys how to install or crimp MC4 connectors. So stick around for just a couple minutes while we go through this. You will need a MC4 connector kit. This one is basically an all-in-one kit, which actually supplies you all the tools, a crimp gun, and comes with MC4 connectors. As you can see here in the bag, this is actually one bag that's ready to do one positive and one negative cable. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. We'll get both of our wrenches out. We'll get our crimp tool as well. And then we'll go ahead and get started. Now you will also need a wire stripper. I like this old one that I've had forever. It was cheap. It still works great. I'll put a description in the bottom of other different types of wire strippers that you can look at. So we'll do a quick overview on the MC4 connector. Now I'm gonna to try to keep this simple, but basically the positive side connector, as you can see here, this is basically your male terminal, and then you have the female terminal, which is the negative, and they just go together as shown, obviously. And then you have a cap that just twists off, and inside that cap, you have this kind of rubber compression sleeve, and when this compresses down, makes it watertight with a little retaining clip inside that holds the pin. And this has to go together as shown with the little teeth to help compress it, or it won't work correctly in make it watertight. So we'll put the cap back on and continue. And basically the female connector is not really any different. So we'll set that to the side. And now we're gonna go ahead and grab our pins. Now, both of these pins, one is a male pin, the other one is a female pin. And so if you look at the male pin, it goes with a female pin, correct? So, and the same thing with the connector, you take the male pin and it goes with a female and it basically creates a couple. And then you have the female pin and it goes with a male connector and you have another couple. So as long as you kind of keep the couples together like so, you won't have any problems down the road. We're gonna start with a positive wire first. So we'll go ahead and take the black wire and just move it off to the side. And then we'll get our positive terminal. And basically what you wanna do, the easiest way is to slide the wire into the back, then go ahead and unscrew the cap, remove that compression sleeve and slide it up as well. And now you're basically ready to start assembling it. Now, one thing you don't wanna do is take the wire and push it all the way through and then put on your connector because then it'll be stuck on that side and it won't come back. So we'll set that down real quick. And now what we have to do is strip the wire and basically then we can assemble this. So we only need to strip about a quarter inch of wire, half a centimeter roughly. So we'll load the wire into the wire strip tool and give it a squeeze and boom, there it goes. Give the wire just a little twist. And now we're done with that part. We can go ahead and grab our crimp tool and now what we need to do is grab that pin and we're gonna load it from the back side. You're gonna put it into the largest position. It's closest to the jaw. Squeeze the wires until it just holds the pin. And now go ahead and load up your wire. And all you have to do is give it a squeeze. And now you've finished your crimp and it's good to go. I sometimes like to do a second crimp and that way it ensures that it doesn't come off, but you also don't wanna cut the wire. So you will give it a pull once you load it into the connector. Go ahead and squeeze it in and then you'll hear it click. Go ahead and give it a good couple pulls to make sure it's nice and tight. And if it is, well, then you're good to go. And you can take that compression sleeve, slide it back down, get the cap, go ahead and start spinning it down. And we'll grab both of those blue wrenches. And then we can take the MC4 connector, put it in the middle of the tool, take the other one, put it on the cap, two clicks, and then basically you're done. And now you've completed one of your MC4 connectors. So now all we have to do is go ahead and do the negative side. This is basically gonna be the same thing. So we'll move a little bit quicker. Go ahead and take the cap, take your compression sleeve, slide that down. And then we're gonna go ahead and strip that wire again about the same length. Get your strip tool, go ahead and strip it, twist the wire, go ahead and get your pin, load it in from the backside with the crimp tool. Make sure that it's flush and then go ahead and grab your wire, insert it into the pin, go ahead and give it a squeeze again. And again, I like to double crimp it, so that's just my method. And then go ahead and insert it into the female side or female connector, get your compression sleeve and your cap, and go ahead and start tightening those down. Then you can get the blue wrenches and go ahead and torque those twice until you get two clicks. And now for the most part, both of these MC4 connectors are done. I hope you liked this short video. Be sure to smash the like button. And until then, I hope to see you next time.